The advantage of Syria, trilateral competition for influence from Turkey, Afghanistan, and Russia, raise the risk yeah. of direct call against a failure. Alcor 22 risk that U.S. troops are growing. Increasingly, task relations jeopardize communication with Russia and Asia. The deconfliction zone increases the risk of unintended direct conflict. Iran has become more influential, less risk of our surrounding. Direct fire Turkey, increase pressure on U.S. back forces, defending military forces to secure the Turkish border every day. Increases the risk of U.S. forces, Russia, Greenland, and Turkish activity are going. Willing to take greater risks, SES holds only weakening COVID inflation. Sanctions begin Syria, leading to exodus of 12 years of recruits and presence is the key. Internally, they form an anti U.S. coalition which emboldens testing forces escalation. Carry 23. Iran, Russia, Syria. Syria is part of a broader campaign shared interest in the departure of the U.S. from Syria, Iran, and Russia, strengthening Syria and the Libya forces in Syria may lead to attacks on the U.S. and to conflict. The regime can lower priority counter ISIS operation, which presents states to grow the regime. Support Iran, which is conducted for a long uh, campaign, also the U.S. forces logistical groundwork to conduct attacks. And that goes nuclear, IAN 18, Syria. Because market major conversation with stock accidents are narrowed, they're inevitable against rising instability, growing complexity, risk of the war has never been higher. Opens in Syria could get a Jewish accidentally in close quarters, invest in the cocktail of opposing forces in Russia, U.S., Turkey, Iran, Syria, and forces a global congregation are reference to all out wars and independently. Hardliners in Russia and the United States escalates false skirmishes. Defense doesn't assume Ukraine only withdraw solves. There's 23 U.S. Russian tensions continue to rise. It takes continues to rely. Remind the dangers of force operating in Syria. Latest episodes suggest rules are beginning to break down as Ukraine damages relations incidents. We live in increasing hostilities, direct conflict. Pursuing means that U.S. forces are targeted. The U.S. anti-game very little risk. Escalation wise, we get out before it is because they're well, we much more difficult to leave those centuries. Sometimes you're more important than the anti Russian boot. And this will cause we hear him in the same military as we're together. We're in deconfliction rules. Hardliners in the Russian side will be the big U.S. to overreact again. The point of no return for diplomacy is inevitable. The plan to draw presence presence to enable concessions and trilateral de escalation. Now, for its way to Syria, it's complex Russian Syria. U.S. forces are already increasingly close proximity of taking an Iranian battle engine attacks and Turkish incursion at U.S. back forces. Biden needs to address that continued presence in Syria necessary. Every day that passes increases the risk, weakens bargaining position in terms of the U.S. departure, and exit quickly secures interest and presence can counter external actors, but it's harmed with instructional. The plan solves escalation state failure by enabling humanitarian aid on Russia 22. Fewer than 1,000 U.S. troops do not expel Russia or Iran. You, as occupation cannot erase the historical basis of the partnership solidified by treaty. Iran sends Iran and Iraq were shared a common goal of countering Israel. U.S. force presence exposes troops and clashes, military confrontation, risk retaliation, escalation into a wider war. U.S. basic proximity versus escalation in Syria will remain dependent on finance, reconstruction, pressure failed to change all sorts behavior and affect the Syrian economy, punishing any country willing to help Syria. Severe shortages and serious status as a broken country, unable to recover with regional partners reluctant to aid and risk retribution from the U.S. The U.S. can, after withdrawing, negotiate for aid and promote Assyria. And GD for causes and presence of little that prolong the conflict for serious breaks. These will be reduces the cost of escalation. And state failure triggers a mass exodus, which escalates regionally. Unlocking humanitarian aid solves Massimino. 18 mass exodus from Syria to Tiflis, forcing the Middle East over the long term of Syria's problem for the region. As this will protect the stability of Jordan, Turkey, Lebanon, all of which are hosting refugees. Rep infrastructure overwhelmed. The major aid can relieve that. Yeah. Left unaddressed, the stream will feed into the ability to trigger violence across the region. Increasing the chance crisis will lead to destabilization and presence in Syria is a continuation of Western imperialism solely for the destruction of societies. Yeah. Alkin 23. U.S. forces are illegally occupied Syria. They deny the war ravage of Trinidad to the criminal occupation, deep and earthquakes. Occupation continue the savage war violation of I-Law. Occupation full of decades of imperialist intervention which decimated societies. Thus, the plan of the United States also substantially reduces military presence in the West Asian North Africa region by withdrawing its troops from the Syrian Arab Republic framing. The standard is consistency with use of militarianism. First, extinction outweighs its categorically distinct ethical categories. Number 22 crosses universally avenge on all human beings, all kinds of lives necessary to treat with security of the power to kill life itself. The year should not be too easy to include humanity once achieved of that close universality or the truth of whiteness. Death of all living beings becomes a source of universalized ability. Theorists must directly address universality without aversion, among them the immunization of the apocalypse. And extinction outweighs. McCaskill 14, we have reason to prevent extinction in extremely high states. Two times to the 14, extinction is irreversible. In time, a better evidence how to value extinction if we did research or for other people are positive. Second, no intent for extinction. States can't hide behind good intentions, they must care about their citizens. Skip the three point method. Policy relevance is pedagogically valuable. Class turns all their offense by many chronic. 16. Engaging policy better understand what we study to work. That's higher quality scholars can formulate better research question experience with organizers. The theory testing encourage intellectual pluralism. Policymakers will be said to become clear guard against biases. And the only viable solution is targeted and technical policy. Critique and retreat into individualized resistance tactics collapses in the face of institutions. Seller 22. Scholars have been active in high school already. Word that authority is expressed algorithmically. Each kind of someone important. Concerned about all our response with precision and clarity needful to pursue an effective treatment. So presently, after serious engagement with how public response. Yeah. Implemented hair core seems to struggle constantly. Democratic intervention if a brand new general friends to be overwhelmed with them so the solution without a remedy. Democracy is our market and the quality polarization and the like is also will be confused. Democracy is do so by muddling. There's no cost to abandon. It's not enough to call for a new law without thinking carefully about implementing institutions in the absence of careful and also the most likely outcome we govern is through corporate instruments and specifically for military presence. Anti basing activism only shifts but does not eliminate militarized violence. Only state based elimination of military infrastructure can overcome the convergence of diverse and powerful stakeholders in based politics by 
19. Movements are still limited to base policies, limited influence on policy, anti base squares play a role within national policies, are mischievous, and geographic factors are more important housing than the nation elites, and national security policy are most important factors. Succession tends to be superficial, dominant elites, and sense of function as ideological barriers to movements. Military shape geography of both ways because of the fears of presence that lead uh, led to losing access to the military preference for bases and countries ruled by dictators. Also, geographic shift has as limited size, insulated from any opposition and visible. And the only past strategy of innovation is not protecting the locals. Instead, military wants to strike with people without consultation, even the territory from which they are launching overcome their residential the location for inhabitants. Possessed fear of rights, their faces are invented in political, economic, and military religion. The government, corporate, and media interests, anti base movements face imbalance. Part of power struggles, movements have been influenced by own national government, regional governments, based on police and others. Blocking bases require standing in an outcome of the US government, movements rarely convince or force the US to come without such a point need to take up its national politics and policy makers and comparing opportunity costs of the best for clash and argument refinement, which is a prerequisite, fair claw and fair claw 18, and adequate fair must include comparison evaluation of arguments, deliberation, truth, death, book, and true findings, and consider and criticize people, moderate partiality, and argumentation over what policy should be adopted, does not exclude other analysis of rights, system, the firm here, provides an effective way of evaluating these forms of the delivery procedure for impartiality, political gravity, which is not about possible shaking, has in line of consequence, the representative of the consequentialist, fair version of common and ethical issues, consequential perspective, and yeah, it's valuable, true persuasion through shading, contentious legal proposals, must currently liable for forward decision, fermentation, health reform, and reduces political division between means and rather than the other side of your group of somebody hope for changes. Uh, cut the card hopes for changes. Can you show me where it is? Okay. <laughs> it's not like it's hopes for changes. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, cool. All right. You guys? Yeah. Okay, the impact scenario, uh, can you explain it? Yeah, my argument is that a confluence of actors including Russia, Iran, the United States, the SDF, etc., are all competing for influence in Syria. The chance for miscalculation is extremely high because Russia, Iran, and Turkey are on one side, and that motivates an anti-United States axis, which triggers the chance for miscalculation because actors that are currently have nuclear weapons or could easily acquire okay, nuclear weapons. What is miscalc? Miscalculate is when actors, you know, either over estimate or underestimate other actors' intentions, which triggers either like a two. So that, that triggers a nuclear war. Yeah. Uh, has, like, is there like any examples of like this cal causing any like conventional warfare in that something like, like size? Like, mis has miscalculation triggered nuclear war in the past? Obviously not nuclear war, but has like what's like the biggest impact that miscalculation has? Well, miscalculation can occur in a in a variety of theaters. For example, Russia Ukraine could be arguably miscalculation because Russia and the United States could miscalculate each other's intentions. No, my, my argument is like, can you give me like a, a past example of where certain miscalculation occurred and caused it? Well, we can be reasonably certain that miscalculation has occurred in pretty much every conflict that has occurred because actors are, you know, inherently out for their own survival. The miscalculation of other actors' intentions is the primary driver of the Okay, war. that's fine. Let's talk about the McCaskill 14 evidence. This claim that we wait sort of future generations, 2 times 10 to the 14th, does that mean that future generations are more valuable than people living right now? We didn't say that. We just said 2 times 10 to the 14 future people. So then what people. is the implication of that number? The implication is that there's a large magnitude that extinction would have. Okay, so my question is, how do we weigh the future, like the possibility of future generations existing versus the people who are living right now? Well, if you're going to make some claim that like future generations will like suffer more or something of that sense, our argument is just that future generations should have a chance to live, which is the McCaskill 14 evidence. It says, "quote If we did research, we would know for certain whether additional people are positive." Okay, um, so that those extra generations are not sort of like factored into your impact calculus. Like well, it would be paternal. It would be paternalistic to not include them because our argument is that people should have the choice. So to my choose. question then, I understand that they should have like the choice, whatever. Is that do those people in the future outweigh the people that exist right now? Well, one, one person in the future versus one. If person you were to say they weren't, we would argue any framework that does not include them in our calculus. It's not a one-to-one -one thing. It's a question of whether or not we, sh we should give people the consent to want to live their lives. Okay, uh, that's fine. Let's talk about the, the, let's talk about the, oh yeah, let's talk about the Vine 19 evidence. Uh, why is this an AF card? It seems to be like the AF that <coughs> causes bases to shift locations. It does not. It says that the process of basing in external areas is a highly politicized process. Multiple actors contribute to it. It's not like there's one activist organization that can dismantle anti or sorry, can dismantle militarism abroad because of the fact that it's such a intertwined. This part is also in the context of government action. So why my question is why does yeah, government, government action, action is hard. interest me from it? Yeah, government action is inherently hard. That's why it's so hard for non governmental entities to influence those realms. Our argument is that the affirmative as an act of fiat is extremely valuable in this sense because it helps us become better advocates okay. for extremely tough political decisions. Uh, orders one off case. Uh, case is framework, method, advantage. Framing first. Huh? Framing first. Sorry, say that again. <clears throat> Framing first on case. Yeah. Framework, method, okay. Third case. Third case. Okay. 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 Ok
When you say framework, do you mean like a framework or framing? Like the one is using framework. Okay, framing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, method cat? Yeah. Got you. I'll set it. Oh, uh, actually, there's also an overview on the case page. It's like a theory. Yeah, that's fine. Sorry.
is an institutional rise from the activism and counter rise from around the institution that was not going to change the presence of the non-experience of the evidence the activism that institutional has taken built pretty conservatively and physically and eventually even the activists were not a very short of the the preventative burn results from nature and interest resistance and revisal that the causes and the case they proper top level on the edge one every two million one every three uh, on our shells and one every three is that every app is that could look at IFAS because the L1 period gets that level that every two on our channel that you answer that there is fun to it but the argument on one of your shells you can blow up every or blow up these 20 second shells into one year or whatever it's been some last time I can't remember your spending which is the agenda mentioned new to new to one of your paradigms you say we do one of your paradigms you say we always want to see theoretical offense be introduced in the Indian Apple in the Indian Apple for more really tested no one of your theory meta theory of theory or off layering and kills they engage you for up for a for promoting the one of season they have two if you have interest in the class and the framework page proper one moral uncertainty conflates sort of skip the card the sort of the 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 McCaskill evidence conflates this sort of notion of sort of calculus is inherently problematic the way that they have constructed the sort of value of future generations and able to sort of just by the elimination of 50 of millions of existing people right now given the sort of form of probability times magnitude scenario in the dot that was that math is in there there's obviously a reason as to why McCaskill provides a number it's not just the possibility future lives but rather that a amount of people exist and central risk and probability times magnitude are who's the same as mass expansion of the following power that's by 21 people who are going to their action their principles because they are signing different states Americans better discipline this unlimited issue because they believe the use needed energy levels in the for the Soviet Union that come in and such a need to immediately become sort of solution orientated different from the solution or designed previously and Karl Marx was designed unfortunately but acceptable for these separate options are obviously the sake of editing colonial power that if you are forced conservation of the place and you feel worse the better numbers of future mention of all clubs or work to escape the temporal validity and even universal universal human validity that is a triumph that sort of next argument is zero evidence one argument is not that extinction is good but rather sort of a holistic focus on it and framing impact calculus and the notion of public consensus is inherently problematic the method is proper one is that the uh, the first evidence, one, the sort of growth indexes, but two, ontology answers that does not actually work. Go check out the toy quality 22 evidence. One, historical all policy demonstrates that it demonstrates the sort of progress possible outside of the state, which is sort of like, like native blockades of US military ships in Tacoma outside of government action. The Vine 19 evidence demonstrates a turn to the YC, the only way to actually prevent this state from circumventing the own assets or future state. That's because the YC can claim to sort of make a change in a change in state action. But they cannot change the state interest that caused the act to happen in the first place. The, the next evidence is recognize the possibility of the affirmative ever being posed as a policy operation, which means that this argument is self serving because the Read the sort of Cooper evidence, but the affirmative does not defend a model of politics here. They don't defend a normal body of that defines how the effort ever actually happened outside this ground. What is the connection between reading the effort actually learned about implementing it in the real world? The advantage, what no, the, the, the escalation is practically possible even if it wanted to this money for you. The Russians, those are probably abilities are poor, and then the preventative data and inferior that are experienced major alleged but difficulty, so just a little more often. Community dimension sanctions between the Russian and not be able to find a war that you're clear about what they're allowed to allow the needs of allies and when it does not have there's not a high risk escalation for the fears of Russian nukes and Russian counter casualties and the can't solve humanitarian aid. The evidence says it would be good if you show some reviews in the series, but that's Certainly not the reverse possible claim that they would post plan or Republican majority to means that it never gets resumed. The card is about a broader uh, strategy towards the exterior. We'll see I can't change read the card. Aid in it, more probably miscalculation of how to false checks and value examples. That's shake 23 is one middle uh, assumption is false in the war by miscalculation. The proper meaning of how to balance nuclear agents are shredded in greater caution than stipulating and be able to enact special attention rather than the limit of automatic, uh, automatic escalation. Miscalculation that is not what appears in the Berlin, Cuban, the Hungarian uprising, the US and Soviet Union reached the sudden continued to be war. The states should have de escalated the dump. Automatic crash to the escalation of the final order of the red line against their kind of weapons. Even Trump's acting the way that are from protecting Iran and the U.S. piece, uh, skip that card. The uh, sort of mutually assured destruction of the things of the risk of that scenario, because obviously, even if there is a sort of first strike, it wouldn't sort of, it, 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 people wouldn't be willing to sort of, uh, wouldn't, sort of wouldn't be sort of willing to commit suicide in order to engage in warfare. But either way, their politics demonstrate their inability to provide an example of this population ever causing a sort of devastating in, uh, internal link to war it means that they sort of are unable to uh, go for the scenario. That's definitely a massive lo gap in the logic of the one I see. Uh, did you kayak this card? Uh, I read that card. Okay. I cut the cards after. Okay. Uh, three minutes starting now. Um, let's talk about the alternative. Yep. Uh, refusal. What does this entail? Uh, Is this so decolonization or knowledge production? Or I think I think that it's a, a litany of things. Uh, the evidence indicates that instead of a sort of model of praxis in which we look towards the state to do action, instead we should orient our knowledge production in the context of sort of black and native resistance outside of the state. There's a litany of examples I gave one on case uh, of what that could look like. It means that we refuse the sort of logic of the one see and actively invest ourselves in an alternative form of logic. So it does two things simultaneously: is one disinvest of the one so how is it? So how knowledge. is it distinct from the status quo? Like, are you fiating a general increase in those movements, or like? I, I don't think that fiat makes sense in the context of the critique. Our argument is that we should endorse models of activism like the alternative, but we have to engage and okay, understand so. how they work through a process of imagination. We can't just say that they work. We okay, have to so sort of process, engage in that. A you process. Process, a process of imagination. How does that resolve the United States? International law and human rights violations. The of entire broad the entire notion of the framework integration is that we shouldn't be talking about in the first place because us as so leaders shouldn't be agency to resolve that. So we shouldn't be talking. 
So you're saying like, we can't, okay. yeah, you're saying since we cannot solve issues, we shouldn't talk about no, them. It's, so it's much more nuanced than that. We should talk about the that 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 Us as debaters should sort of propose solutions that we have the agency to complete. The one is he is abstracting sort of a so do you have the agency to complete King's Notion of decolonization, you have the agency to complete King's notion of decolonization or any other thing that the negative is read? Or we have the agency to endorse that form of like, activism okay. in the context of yeah, yeah, using yeah. the YC. Okay. The affirmative okay. identity racist thing that is bad, we should refuse it as an impact in the realm as Okay, so, so can you explain what the YC did that was racist? Uh, yeah, a couple like of links. Yeah, so the first link is the Macintosh evidence indicates that this sort of, it's just a generic topic link. The one you see is the engagement of the state is sort of inevitably going to fail because you are unable to sort of reorganize the state's interest in involvement in the Middle East, uh, causes a sort of litany of impacts like reintervention. Okay, so the, that. the uh, state's the, interest, so how does that relate to the affirmative, which forces the state against its interests to withdraw from Syria? Why is this specific? Like, it's why a nuanced implication of the sort of idea that you're claiming that the state is ever going to be able to solve the affirmative in the first place. You're sort of okay. saying that the state should do this and thing, and your inability to imagine how it would ever be your process of convincing you're, you're, the state to wait, do that. Wait, sorry, sorry. So, 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 you're, so your argument why the state can never solve, is that the Juarez evidence? Yeah, that's the ontology. Okay, so can you explain your ontology claim? Yeah, Juarez uh, says that we're in the sort of, sort of core structural antagonism of the present is the Eurocene in which all life is compared to the sort of European settler colony. That means that the sort of forms of gratuitous violence that have occurred towards sort of black, making black people and native people across the world explain that there's sort of, sort of a form of immaterial violence that occurs towards the people that cannot be explained absent the state being inherently racist and inherently sort of classist and yeah. Okay, uh, gotcha. So is it a, does it make like some sort of metaphysical claim or is that just an analysis of the structures in this sense? Uh, Horace thinks that ontology appears as though it was metaphysical, which means that under the state, all sort of notions of progress are sort of but, but it's not actually, by So it appears metaphysical, but not actually metaphysical? Horace yeah. thinks that we can we can reject these notions of ontology, but not through state structures. It has to be through in more informed models of activism that can be Okay, um, I'll start prep now. Um, 216 used. Uh, the order is going to be case and then the critique. Yeah. Is there a doc? Yeah. Uh, case, same order as 1AC or 1AC? Um, it's going to be the advantage and then like an overview to the method, but like the method will be more on the critique. Okay, that's fine. Okay, wait, see, what's your case again? Uh, advantage and then like a quick overview of the method. Okay. Um, I said, I oh, yeah. And framing also on critique or? Yeah. Okay.
Okay, so case advantage then an overview and the K page. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Trilateral competition in Syria escalates. Russia, Iran, and Turkey create a coalition, incentivizing four riskier actions, removing risk aversion, which was a conceded one is the argument. The risk of mixed calculation is high, which is the IHAT evidence, which outweighs Russian and American hardliners capitalized rhetoric and flames domestically, which is the Larison evidence. The level one, Turkey being a NATO country does not matter. This boundary pushing draws in NATO, which is a conceded one is the scenario. Escalation is possible. Russia doesn't intervene, but emboldens Iran too because of an axis which forces a U.S. first strike. Greater caution does not assume a desperate and hostile Russia and the U.S. Analysis of status quo foreign policy shows that there are hardliners on both sides that inflame rhetoric, escalate small disputes, which Hilarious and evidence proves that they're just looking for an excuse to do so. Now, the method they said, gut check the method. You have no idea what that means. We'll extend them on the critique. Uh, the critique page. Top level, starting on framework, let me weigh the case against the opportunity cost. That means things based on epistemology need to be contextualized to the desirability of the plan. Anything else is arbitrary, unresolutional, and useful money see which kills clash and fairness. Other forms of mooting are still in the context of the stasis of the one AC and the topic, which is a predictable stasis of being able to weigh the consequences of the app outweighs, answers their process counterplans, arguments that outweighs no singular round effect subjectivity because debate is a game that requires fair evaluation. Arguments are read to win, which is that fairness is the only impact. Comparing opportunity costs is independently good, which is the method page is best for clash and argument refinement. They've conceded the fair Claw research study that proved that a deliberative measure that takes into account consequences makes us better activists by breaking down dogmatism and making us better deliberators in the future and argument processing, which is the binding and bribe and chronic evidence. It makes us better suited to break down and challenge the current structure of politics. There is a study linked between the two because fiat makes us better imaginators and helps spill over into the real world. They have to win that exclusion of the plan is good, which frames all of their framework arguments. Our framework arguments are inclusive, not exclusive. You get your offense, which resolves all of your business as usual arguments, but our argument is that we should just get our offense too because of the fact that there's a risk that our research is good. They cannot just disavow all of the research studies to be read inside of the 1AC as gut check. That doesn't make any sense. That's the best form that avoids all of their dissents. Next, the framing. Page extinction outweighs. It's a floor for value. The process causes billions of painful deaths. The risk that we're right outweighs the risk that we're wrong. Probability times magnitude is good. Anything else cannot distinguish between obviously worse impacts. But egalitarianism is the only metric that treats everyone equally, which is key. Anything else justifies the of certain people. Not It's not just a number. Consent is good, and it's a category threat, which is the Zimmer evidence. Anything else is paternalistic. Obviously, fiat is illusory. It's good for fairness and the inherent value of it being a good research model, which is all the stuff above the, the uh, ontology debate. The anti-native project inevitably incomplete. Their worldview makes fixed ontologies inevitable. Robinson 20, the project to make an anti-native world has never been complete. It's contingent on face errors. The project to make an ontology is not already based along this question. Pull continues colonized, racialized, and oppressed people have always resisted default affirmative. If they're right about ontology, the affirmative cannot be more settled than colonialism. The status quo, the alternative cannot solve, but if they're wrong, the cause is huge. There's fertilizing structural claims. It means we only have to win a single instance, but there's multiple. Blackhawk 19, Native American politician against achievements on a true rising heart self-determination era yield with Achievements of election and how to David as the first American, American Indian woman to Congress. American Indian history is a portrait of survival, resilience, adaptability, colonial battle that moved from wounded to Congress. Native communities have been victorious. Fonds against women act and power tribal force of prosecuting non natives, cut the card of non natives. Now the link to make proper. First, the IR link. IR is inevitable. It's not just a Eurocentric thing. All countries use calculations of international relations and then move in their foreign policy, which is that their refusal argument is nonsensical, impossible, and cannot solve. There's no monolithic IR, but it's good. Rate of 15, choice of non Swedish in here. Patterns of foreign decision making, box scholarship, improved policy. Performance evidence by the ability of academics to build on their work to predict outcome forecasting the length of insurgency. There's a danger not appreciating reports of rigorous research design quantitative techniques for crafting policy critically necessary bad research. Make sure bad policy technical methods and true causal differences solve empirical problems. Policymakers incorporate better finance, microfinancing, gender empowerment, four day lesser on the line of decisions about vaccinations, neutral channel work recommendations, air quality, technical components need to be there, shipping them as directly undermines their right recommendations, cut the card of recommendations. The topic length this round shouldn't be a question of total affirmative solvency, but whether the affirmative gains are valuable, the conceit of the alternative fails in the context of the ad, anti basic activism is rare and it's hard to overcome the mass amounts of bureaucracy that go into the United States funding of military, but gains in politics are good when they occur because they're so rare. The affirmative is a key example of that because fiat allows the affirmative to pass and reduces imperialism in the mass way perm. Do both strategic uses are good. The latest point to a digital century in the state of strategic universe taking time safe on the legal discourse all results in the situation becoming worse AIM. The result of indigenous people being sound as AIM become a target of litigation strategy need to be the job something better. There's no middle way. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna take prep. Can you send us the Cards you cut, well, I think right. um, the highlighter we cut. It's just there's no middle way on the mini. Okay, just fine. It's in like the middle bottom. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Oh, also, I cut like the last line of the radar evidence. Okay. It's like,
fire using four or five? We're using four. I mean, okay. It's five people. Five. I mean, it's four, four is five. five. It's five. Okay. Okay, it's set. Uh, let me know what it's It's, yeah, the, the K is just top down. Okay, yeah. so, yeah. Uh, separate sheet for overview or not? Uh, Question the ways 
who at this state has engaged in this racism to <gasps> forefront sort of better <laughs> ways in which we engage with our objective, ob objectives of foreign policy rather than as your default thing to go to the state in the first place. The next argument, they conceded Gorski, which is game over on there. It's a, it's a, it's a, it links to accessibility. That is a conceded, that, that is a conceded issue in this round. Accessibility is the biggest impact in this round because every sort of argument requires that we feel safe enough to evaluate it, which means if I win the affirmative actively cause people to sort of have mental health, health issues or be sort of have, experience racial violence fatigue, then they should automatically lose the Gorski evidence is greater this question. It indicates that when activists are forced to engage with sort of liberal institutions like the state or the university, they always sort of, they, they inevitably result in sort of a form of mental fatigue because the state is unchanging, which is if I win ontology, then they act as sort of fundamentally terrible. The sort of extinction outweighs argument. The egalitarianism is whitewashing. The idea that we should consider all life as valuable obviously seems good in a vacuum, but in the consideration of different people suffering more than others in the context of impacts like settler colonialism, obviously that is incoherent. That was the white evidence. Consider the application of their number in the McCaslow evidence just by sacrificing like 50 million people now for a 0 0.0001 chance of extinction in the present, which is obviously an incoherent broader and Justin's going to say that the number isn't actually what I think it is, but then why is it there that is incoherent? The next argument about Robinson, the one, oh, they misunderstand, I'll extend, I'll extend the sort of thesis claim here. Juarez says that the, you know, the sort of current structural antagonism of the modern world order in which all life is compared to the sort of white European settler colony, and that is the sort of only form of explanatory for, for uh, power of the gratuitous violence that and the transformations of violence from sort of slavery to mass to, to sort of slave controls to the police or to mass incarceration or the you know, continued destruction of sort of native lands and cultures through things like boarding schools or forced sterilization even the they say it sort of explains the sort of forms of violence that occur immaterially and have no form of explanation means that their claim of Robinson contingency cannot explain this because not only does it offer zero other explanatory power but two it has no actual warrant the third argument the second argument they say the app can't be more colonialist, but one, the U.S. not being pessimistic answers this. Our argument is that Juarez does not say that the world is fundamentally structured in this way, that it can never be changing, rather that engagement institutions that created this order, created this other state as the United States, is never going to solve, which means that the app did a racist thing, and you should reject it. That's what the alternative of refusal implies. The BIPOC evidence, one, the U.S. not being pessimistic answers, but two, the sort of, it's not in the context of individual localized examples of broader structural issues. Obviously, the state can do things to enforce its legitimacy, but it will never actually decolonize itself. The, that it also sort of examples like Deb Holland has explicitly ignored the demands of other Native women, easy way for the state to claim legitimacy. The IR battling, I'll extend that here. The, well, the sort of broke evidence was, was massively mishandled, I'll extend it. The sort of, the, we don't know, the, 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 it does not, IR does not attempt to, so, to accurately describe conflict to create more money for the DOD. The demonstrates that the sort of interest convergence that IR is the language of empire. It is designed for the sole purpose of continuing war against the global south. That is implicated on the sort of, uh, in the dock. I actually closed it. Let me open it. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to, where did I send it? Oh, here we go. I'm going to move on while I do that. The sort of next argument is the topical link. I'm not going for it, but even if the alternative can't solve, they conceded it. We don't need to solve because it's sort of impacts are constructed in relation to the IR, which means that if I win the IR link, then the one is for research is inherently problematic. You should be absolutely suspect against it. The dog open. So here we go. The one is carried all evidence from the Institute for Social Study of War, whose goal is to, quote, improve the nation's ability to execute military operations, end quote. And IE is paid for by the Royal United Nations Services Institute. They receive money from the State Department, Goldman Sachs, Lucky Martin, and Palantir. The defense priorities mission statement is more of the same. They're funded by the Copper the Zets of Petras and Ambrosia, those are litany of arguments to why the one of these authors and former scholarship is only able to reproduce forms of securitization that engage in discussions of warfare, the permutation, the delineated evidence, one of one, links are dispatched to the, the perm, but two, the sort of answer the black hawk also apply, but the third is, this is not the affirmative, their evidence describes a form of sort of, uh, of embodied activism in which you understand and engage in sort of legal institutions via our position as individuals and understand how we can translate our advocacies in the debate to sort of real policymakers by engaging in sort of democratic engagement. They've not translated their reading of this 1AC to how it could possibly be implemented in the real world, which implicates the 1AC cannot solve. The round is super clear. The growth evidence was massively mishandled. Ontology is massively mishandled. That means after that, the state would never be able to do the affirmative. The game is over. Framework is conceded. There's The extinction argument is a problematic and a link. Reason why the issue is bad. Yeah. <coughs> okay, um, starting with now.
How much time did I have? Uh, you have four seconds left. Okay. Um, the order is going to be case and critique. Trilateral competition in Syria escalates Russia, Iran, Turkey, created coalition incentivizing riskier action. Lack of risk conversion means the risk of miscalculation is high, which the IAN goes nuclear. All of their arguments inside of the two in our ad homs that are cool SYIs inside of the two in our but should have been introduced in the one and C because we do not have a chance to respond to them with cards that justify our model of debate inside of the two in our which means that they are one and C arguments. They're cool FYIs, but do not disavow the a conceded advantage. Just that lack of contest on the link chain means that you should assume default affirmative because I don't have the chance to read cards against them. The critique. Our interpretation is that we should weigh the cost of the affirmative versus the benefits of the affirmative. There are three framing issues that were introduced inside of the 1AR that the 2 has fundamentally not grappled with. First, this debate is a question of models, which is the first line of the 2 r Floating disadvantages are not offense. They must be tied to a model that resolved it. Second, unwarranted blip source should not be evaluated. You should preserve fidelity from the 2 r to the 1NC, which is that new 2 r claims are scrutinized, and those without warrants are rejected. Third, our interpretation is the only one that is additive, not exclusive. It says consequences matter, but does not limit how they engage. There are two impacts. First is fairness. Their model decks it by ensuring all topic prep 1NC offensive return and strategy are disregarded, which outweighs. They concede it is the only intrinsic impact of debate is a game, and it's why they emphasize things like strategic concessions, ask you to evaluate arguments, it's why judges don't flip a coin, proves it's tautological to say something outweighs fairness, which is a conceded argument. And we might choose our consequences, but the fact that we're not allowed to weigh them and their model means that they move six minutes of what I see offense, the line by line. We can have debates about debate. Our interpretation is inc inclusive, not exclusive. Our argument is that not being able to weigh a forced mandate of the affirmative, which is defending the consequences of the state and coming out of the one I see six minutes of offense and gives the affirmative debater no stasis when deciding what's prep before the tournament. They say fiat is illusory. Fiat being illusory is not of importance. It's still a good ethical tool, which we'll do below. Mooting is not inevitable. They have conceded that other forms of mooting, like counterplans, are still tied to a topical stasis, which is opportunity cost. Denying the affirmative's ability to weigh that is bad because it's a predetermined thing by the resolution. Fairness is important. It's not a race to the top. Fairness is the most important impact inside of the round. Debate is inherently in a choice uh, activity. You can choose to compete in it or not. But insofar as you have chosen to compete in it, they've conceded that you, the judge is required to evaluate the round fairly. Otherwise, you flip a coin and no one would compete inside of the argument. They say it's the biggest impact because it unconsciously repeats other colonial assumptions. First, overview answers to security you can still disrupt systems. Second, they've conceded that our arguments trace her all of their offense because it proves that subjects of cloud benefits of clash on subject formation. They've conceded a research study, which is the first law evidence that says that it breaks down dogmatism, allows the leaders to facilitate the best form of testing and scrutiny against critiques by being able to weigh consequences, which answers all their arguments and straight terms them. Our argument is not that the state has to be 100% good or that the state does not result in mental fatigue, but that not being able to weigh consequences entrenches dogmatism, makes us worse activists, and corrects fairness. The last argument we have to go for is extinction outweighs. Extinction definitionally outweighs. It's paternalistic to say that people do not matter. We're not doing traditional arguments that say that all future generations matter, but our McCaskill evidence contextualizes that not being able to let them choose their value is a paternalistic model because it denies them the ability to choose and create their own value inside of the world. It's paternalistic to tell every single person on the planet that their lives do not matter, or every future life person that they do not have to deserve the ability to live because of the fact that you think that they're ontologically dead, which bypasses all of the ontology debate. It's a conceded impact calculus argument. It carded impact calculation outweigh, which is the one I see Zimmer evidence. It's the only category threat and triggers every single terminal impact. Yeah. Mm -hmm.